Hey everybody, Not Nuts here again. Sorry about my disheveled appearance. I've been on the road for three months and uh, I've gone on a hair cutting strike as you can tell. <laughs> uh, as always, please subscribe and leave comments. All comments welcome, even the kind that I got that have kind of got me uh, in a twist today. I got a comment left on about one of my videos uh, several weeks ago, a couple weeks ago at least, and uh, didn't really pay much attention to it until today, and so I thought I'd do a quick reply to it. This is about a video um, that I made about how to tie uh, rope, uh, string, uh, paracord, whatever, in a way that I've been tying it for probably 15 years or so. That's a real convenient way to tie it and keep your rope and cord tangle free and get a hank of rope or a chunk of rope out of a hank without having to retie the knot. And anyway, it's just a system that's worked really good. So I thought I'd share it with people. And then I got somebody that kind of got seems like they got kind of twisted up. I may be mistaken. Sometimes it's hard to get uh, somebody's tone from a, a written comment. You know. Uh, so anyway, this guy, third hand man, left a comment to my keep your paracord, string cord, and rope tangle free video on YouTube. And uh, the com uh, let me just read the comments so you guys can know what I'm talking about. It says, not nut, go to YouTube and search Kentucky Bow Rope. Third hand archery has been selling bow rope since 1995 and has a copyright on this technique. Doubt seriously you invented it. <laughs> So it seems like a uh, third hand man, maybe I'm wrong, has, has got a little bit twisted. He thinks I'm trying to cut into his profits or something. First of all, I'm not selling anything. So um, if you want something from third hand man archery products, I definitely encourage you to go check it out. In fact, his uh, website is www.thirdhandarchery.com. Check out the bow rope. See if you like it. Uh, Another thing about his technique that's way different than mine is that his rope has all kinds of gizmos and stuff attached to it and uh, for a specific archery technique. Mine is just a technique for tying up cord and uh, I'm not, once again I'm not selling anything so there's no need to be intimidated by my, my scary knot tying techniques or anything. <laughs> uh, and so another thing that's way different about his knot, the way he does it, is he's got a loop that he starts off his figure eight technique, which that figure eight tying technique has been around longer than either one of us have been. That's been around for probably centuries. Uh, uh, and both of our techniques are a variation of this same knot, which I mentioned in my original video. Um, I say, I, in fact, I mentioned there that almost any knot that you tie nowadays is probably not a unique knot. It's probably been tied before or just a slight modification of an already existing knot. And I will stand by what I said before about me being the uh, inventor of this knot. I will say that I will make further clarification here in saying that it's likely that I am not the original inventor. In fact, uh, third hand man I'm sure is the original inventor of his gizmo that he uses for archery and um, it's uh, I, I, w I took the time to go look at his video it looks like a pretty cool product that works very well for a specific application and uh, I would encourage everybody to look at my video and then look at his video and see if our knots are the same obviously they're not he starts his knot figure eight differently and he ends it differently. That's the trick with my knot. The knot that I invented, that I'm probably not the original inventor of, there's my disclaimer again, <laughs> uh, is a, a great way to uh, untie the knot quickly. There, in fact, there's no knot really. It's kind of just like a slip knot. You just yoink, yank on a piece of string and the whole thing just kind of comes apart. Uh, usually without any tangles. So uh, if you're looking for a way to use cord, in fact, I found another guy on YouTube that uses almost the exact same technique, 95% exactly the same as mine. And uh, I, I looked at his video and left some comments and and uh, we both agreed that it's a great technique for using paracord. I, I encourage you to check it out. So also third hand man, if I've uh, ruffled any of your feathers, uh, I'm, I'm extremely sorry about that. And uh, hopefully uh, you're not threatened by my knot tying technique. And uh, uh, you should definitely 
watch my video again where I say that all knots are probably variations of existing knots so that when I say that when when I say that I'm the original inventor or when I say that I'm the inventor of this knot it should infer that I'm probably I'm saying also that I'm probably not the original inventor of it <laughs> my knot's just a variation of existing knot anyway check it out hey everybody check out his website check out my knot video check out both videos leave comments and uh, everybody tell me what you think I'm sure probably nobody cares but third hand man and me <laughs> anyway have a great day love you guys